Hey, Killer here, and welcome back to more Thoughts and Gaming. And I am super excited about this episode. So, before I get started, I'm gonna say that I have been building something very, very special for the past couple days. It finished this morning, I did a quick mission with him to see how it was, I barely did anything, but he fits in with the topic quite well. Say hello to the nudist himself. Look at him. Isn't he beautiful? Look at those guns. Oh. I, I just, it, everything about him. He, he looks fucking ugly and I love it. It looks like he's wearing a weird satchel thing. He's, it actually, actually kind of, yeah, we, we should talk about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's amazing. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about him. Uh, I haven't really tried him much. Uh, this is so far what my build is. Um, I've obviously got Blind Rage because I really needed that extra strength on him. Uh, Prompt Continuity because I, I really like Duration. Rage because he has absolutely no shield, so I mean, why not? Vitality, Steel Fiber, and Stretch. And what makes Nidus so cool is that he is infested. Everything about him, all of his abilities, he's very cool. I haven't tried him out much. I've seen his first ability, basically, and that's it. And yeah, I actually want to give him the uh, Hema when I, when I finish building it. But I mean, it costs a, a fuck ton of, of mutagen, and I just don't have enough to build it yet. But I really want to build it because headshots heal you, and obviously he's completely like health and stuff so I really need to get that built. For now the dual toxicists look fucking dope as hell on him so I'm keeping those and I'm giving them him the Hirudo for now because they can passively uh, heal him but in the future I would like to give him the Caucasus instead because it's a kind of a unique weapon if you hold the attack button it shoots the spray forward that uh, is it's like creep that kills shit that walks on it and I think that part might be really cool for him. But anyways, let's get on to the topic. The topic for this Thoughts in Gaming is the idea of the infested, not only in Warframe, but the potential of it in real life. And I guess just disease in general, uh, zombies, and well, yeah, we'll see as we go. Uh, for this, um, I, pl I was playing Apollodorus earlier. I think I might actually go to ODS. Mm. Maybe not. You know what? You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go back to Apollodorus. I might not level up much, but at least I can talk freely there. Alright. So, in Warframe, you get you get the infested, and you'll you'll see them now. I'm about to deal with them, but I mean, like I said, you, you should you should know Warframe. Uh, if you're playing it, you should know the infested. All this all this shit on the floor that's infested. And what the infested are, they, they used to be a weapon designed by the Oricon to combat the sentience. They were a weaponized disease that went horribly wrong. I mean, the, they just ended up infesting fucking everything. They were, they were uncontainable. I mean, look at this shit. Um, so yeah, it, it backfired as much of the, which is, you know, theme for the Oricon. And... As we can see nowadays, the infested are back, but that's because of the Grenier, but we'll get into that. So yeah, the weapon, uh, the infested are a weaponized disease that went horribly wrong, and we can see that, I mean, they work with a hive mind, and I mean, they're very science fiction-y, I mean, uh, they're, they work with a hive mind, they're, they're fucking terrifying, they have this weird ooze and like tendrils and shit uh, sticking to walls they're quite terrifying but they're quite science fiction -y. like how believable is it that something like this could exist well that's kind of what I wanted to talk about I mean uh, a few days ago I went fishing I went on a fishing trip with my dad and it was super fun I really enjoyed it uh, I enjoy fishing and I really wanted to stay for longer, but I simply couldn't. I mean, it was supposed to be a four-day fishing trip. Oh shit, the stalker. 
It was supposed to be a four day fishing trip and it ended up being a two day because I started feeling terribly ill. Also, the, uh, the stalker is probably going to kill me here, by the way. I might just let him do it just to get it over with. Oh uh, yeah, Lick Krill. I think that was from the sortie I did the other day. But yeah, it was supposed to be a four day fishing trip. It only ended up being a two day because of... Uh, I started feeling terribly ill. You know, I'm just going to let him kill me. And then he'll leave. Because I'm just not equipped for it. Yep, kill me. Hurry up, get it over with. Come on. Please just kill me. Hurry up and get it over with. Damn Nidus's amazing ability to heal. Thank you. Alright. So yeah, I had to go home because I was feeling seriously terribly ill. And uh, we, nobody had any idea of why. You know, I thought it was the food, but I mean, nobody else was sick because of the food, so it couldn't have been that. Um, I thought it was the alcohol. I did drink quite a bit, but I mean, I didn't drink that much, and I can hold my liquor pretty well. So it definitely wasn't the alcohol. And I ended up having to go home because I just, I was feeling so fucking terrible. I mean, I had to hold my stomach in for the entire car ride. And I ended up blowing chunks on the road, like, a few corners away from my house. Like, nobody else was feeling bad. I mean, I was literally emptying my stomach on the sidewalk. And I started talking to them about it, and I had no idea why I was feeling that way. And then I, uh, I just came up, and I was like, yeah, I drank quite a few cups of water from, from, the, from the fishing place. And they were like, yeah, you, you really shouldn't have done that. And I was like, well, you know, you guys could have told me. Because apparently, you should not drink the water. I mean, I'm not talking about the, the dam water or, like, the river water. I'm talking about water from the tap. You know, it was, it was clear. It was, it was transparent. But, yeah, apparently that was a big no-no. And I was feeling it. <laughs> so, basically, what I'm going on about is... I went from a hundred percent one day to feeling like, uh, like to, to being in my deathbed the next, because I drank a few cups of water. Like, that's scary as hell. The disease is horrifying. I got sick from just drinking a few cups of water. And by the way, just check this out. Look how disgusting that is. I love it. Mmm delicious but yeah so I want to talk about what what is the possibility of of disease if something as stupid as that can get me sick what is the possibility of a worldwide infection on a similar level as Warframe maybe less I mean the infested control of the solar system I'm talking about just just on earth maybe like a zombie apocalypse or just a disease you know, something 28 days later, or Dawn of the Dead. And how would the world deal with it? How is how is that even possible? What what would allow that to be possible? So, first off, I don't think that if real live zombies had to exist, that they would be cannibals. I mean, there's literally no reason for it to be that way. I get it. Like a lot of movies, they like that's the way they spread their disease by biting people and stuff or by, by like puking on them or whatever you know like uh, in 28 days later there was they, they did the puking and stuff but I just don't think it's very efficient you know if, if real life zombies had to exist they would not get very far by biting or by, or by puking you know but but by physical contact it wouldn't get far because humans are just good at Humans are a lot better at stopping that shit than the movies, like, let on. You know, we have guns, almost, at least in South Africa, at least in America, a lot of people have guns just lying around, and a lot of us know how to defend ourselves. It wouldn't get very far. So, what would allow to be possible? Uh, maybe something along the lines of The Walking Dead. You know, it's already airborne, I mean, spoilers, I mean, this is first season. Uh, everyone's already infected, and... I mean, that, that, that makes it very scary. I mean, everyone can turn into a zombie as soon as they die, and it makes it very easy for it to spread. I mean, everyone's already infected. 
So it would definitely have to be airborne or waterborne and everyone would be kind of infected already for it to make for it to get anywhere. Um and I mean like okay the the aggressiveness cuz like that that's a, that's a, a big trait as well. They're obviously aggressive. They're they're cannibals. And the aggression, I, I understand, you know, I mean, it doesn't take much to make to make humans angry, to tick them off. I mean, just tell them that their favorite anime sucks, or that Trump is going to make America great again. It, it doesn't take much to, to make people angry anymore. So, that I understand, you know, I mean, just a little bit of irritation can make somebody go apeshit. But the cannibalism, nah, I just don't think it's, it, it, it makes sense. Instead, I really like the idea that they went with in The Last of Us, and I think it's very believable. If you don't know, in The Last of Us, the zombies are actually, like, created by a weird fungal. It's like a mushroom or something. And that's very believable. I mean, I don't really know too much about The Last of Us, but yeah, it's, it's definitely like a weird mushroom disease that controls people into, you know, uh, spreading the disease through spores and by doing some really weird shit you know it, it controls them and that is believable and why is that believable there is a real mushroom okay that's a real type of fungi in real life that attaches itself to insects like ants and burrows its roots into their brain and controls them I'm not making the shit up it exists I just don't know the name of the mushroom and I'm too lazy to look it up but it exists. It burrows into the minds of insects and it forces them to go to new, new, more populated areas and it kills them off. It just brings them to a new place, kills them off, and that's where its spores will start growing. In other words, it's selectively choosing where to spread. That is fucking horrifying. I mean, it's cool too, but that is fucking horrifying. So... If that mushroom just had to be bigger, if it just had the ability to instead start infecting people, it could totally hit that level of it would it would be able to to make zombies, huge living breathing human zombies. Maybe maybe not the living or breathing part, but you you get what I mean. As for the way they work and stuff, I, um, they would probably still be smart. You know, the, the, in movies they usually say they usually make zombies really stupid and very one-minded. I think they would be smarter than that. They would work with a hive mind, like the Infested do in Warframe, because there's no way, um, th there's no way it would be able to spread without, you know. A lot of cooperation and basically what I'm saying is humans are a lot more tougher than than the movies make us out to be you know we're, we're pretty good when it comes to combating disease and stuff we're pretty good when it comes to apocalypses I think we'd be better off than we believe uh, one sec Ow. So yeah, I don't think that the possibility of zombies is too high, but I mean, what if it had to be weaponized? What if somebody had to actively go and create this? Like, let's say it wasn't naturally created. Let's say the mushrooms didn't evolve to root into humans. Let's say it was created as a weapon, like the infested were. How would that work? Well, it's been used in the past. Weaponized viruses are not very new, they're just not that common. They have been used in the past to weaken other countries and stuff. And, but the problem with it is that it's not easy to contain. You know, it, it's very easy for a weaponized virus to get out of hand and to actually infect 
yourself, it's, it's like to in infect the user and not just the person being attacked with it. And I just don't think that weaponizing viruses is ever a good idea. I mean, we see how the Grenier tried to use it again, even after seeing what the what the corpus, uh, uh, what the Oricon did with it. It just didn't go very well. I mean, the the Grenier tried to weaponize it, and suddenly half the solar system's controlled by these weird fuckers. The corpus knew to stay the fuck away from it, but even they didn't stand much of a chance. I mean. This guy, he used to be Corpus. Both of these guys used to be Corpus. Now look at them. They're dead. So, even a, a huge superpower in Warframe, like the Grenier, although they're not too bright, if we're being honest, they, even they couldn't contain it. They had scientists. They have the power. They have the, the brute force to try and contain it, but look how that went. You know, the, the Corpus, who are quite a lot smarter, even knew to stay the fuck away from it because of the amount of shit that it caused in the past. You know, the Infested was not something to fuck with because of, of how it even backfired on the Oricon, who were the master race back in the day. And I mean, if they couldn't contain it, and they're, I mean, I guess, it's, I, I understand it's all fictional and stuff, but... Let's just say America had to create a, a super a super weapon. How the fuck would they be able to contain it once they've released it? Unless they had a cure for it. But even then, it's it's just it's so dangerous. So yeah, basically, I just wanted to level up Nidus a bit. I want to talk about the potential apocalypse in the future. I mean. It's something to think about. I don't believe it's going to happen anytime soon. Probably not in my lifetime. Probably not ever. But it's still something to think about. And yeah. I really enjoy Nidus. I hope to get his Hema and his Caucasus done and ready and built soon. He's fucking disgusting and I love it. And he has the, he has the second biggest bulge in Warframe. So, you know, he's got that going for him. And I guess I'll see you all next time. I really hope to get the HEMA done. That thing looks pretty cool. Anyways, killer out.